so we have the player movement and now the player has the gravity the player can jump the next thing which is missing is running or you can say sprinting so let's add sprinting to our player so right here in the player script at the top as you can see we have the player speed now let's create another public float by the name of player sprint okay and the sprint value will be 5f by default after this let's scroll down and after this jump button let's create another function by the name of sprint okay and now inside the sprint we will make the sprinting code or you can say the running code but before that click on edit in unity then project settings and right here we need to create a sprint button so if we click on this file 3 as you can see it is set to the left shift okay so in most of the games as you notice that the player run or sprint on the shift button so we will use the left shift button in our game as well but remove this mouse too from there okay and change the name to sprint that is it okay now save it get back to the script and in here we will say that if we hold the sprint button so for that type input dot get button sprint okay and while sprinting if we are pressing the w or the up arrow key as well then we will sprint but in the end we need another condition as well and that is on the surface so if the player is on the surface and then sprinting then at that case we will allow the player to sprint because we don't want the player to sprint in the air okay so now in here we can just simply copy the, this code from up there okay from the player move and let's just simply paste it down right in here and the only thing which we will be changing is this player speed to player sprint okay so player sprint and that is it now our player will sprint as well so let's save this get back to unity okay everything is set up now if we just simply play the game you will notice that our player can walk and if we hold down the shift button as you can see our player can't sprint and this is because if we check our script in the update function we didn't call the sprint function so make sure that you call the sprint function right here as well okay so now save it let's play the game again and now this time it will work perfectly fine as you can see we can move and now as you can see we can sprint as well moving sprinting as you can see and now we can jump as well we can walk and jump as you can see so now our player has everything the only thing which is missing is the animation so in the future videos we will now animate our player so for that catch you guys in the next one